Okay, welcome again to Smart Depot. Today we are back with another GCAM video. And today's one is going to be very different. There's not going to be no intro, no outro. This is going to be straight to the point. And let's get it started with. So, you might have been able to install one or two GCAMs in your device. And you keep wondering, how do I find the best one for me? Okay, so watch this now. This is GCAM 7.3 by Unix. This one is GCAM 7.3 by Power 0 for the 3. And we want to know, how do we choose the best one for our device? Now, the reason reason why we say choose one because you already have your stock camera you have a uh, stock camera already working and then you have two other gcam and what does that mean to your juice what it means to your juice is that these two cameras are going to be taking more and more batteries from your battery life so you see this now this one is taking 11 percent i mean and this one is taking uh, 9.2 and when you look for your own system camera it's just one percent so yeah um just hang on with one gcam at a time because most time they do interfere with each other if there is a bug in this one it might be affecting the other one so let's go into it now how do you choose well, it, it boils down to your preference at the end, but I'm going to show you some clue or nuggets that will help you to make the best choice. So let's get started. Let's start with the Unix. Okay, we're going to give it the permission. I'm surprised I haven't done that already. Um, I always like to turn off the motion. Yeah, causes a lot of problem, especially if your Google Photos is not up to date or something like that. So we're going to take on the stock and then we're going to open this one. Okay, I've already given this one permission. So the stock setting without anything, we're going to take a picture with this one and we're going to try the night side. As you can see, this room is very, very dark. So we're going to try the night side for all this thing by stock. So go to night side. We're going to take a picture. Don't mind my phone. Uh, night side preview. Once the phone is bent, it's funny, but it still works. So we're going to click on this, hold the phone still. Now that happened very sharply. Okay, so um, this is um, Parrot. So we're going to go to Unix, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Night Sight again, and we're going to hold it, and we're going to take um, Night Sight shot. It happened very sharp. So Parrot is the first one. Unix is the second one. So we, uh, we have the stock camera too. Since it's here, why don't we give it? It has a night skip, you know, so... Let's give it a shot too and then see how it goes. So Nightscape. Okay. So there it goes. So let's go back to Parrot and then let's test them all out. So this is the Nightscape from the stock camera as you can see the um see here. It's a little bit not so sharp. This is the one from Unix. This one from Unix is way better than this. And this is the one from Parrot. Yeah, this one from Parrot 034, the first one we took. So I think there is a little difference here. I think uh, the Unix um, 05 looks a little bit brighter. As you can see, you can look at this area, then this area a bit. As you can see, this area, this area a bit is brighter in Unix. I think the color tone or signature here is cleaner the ground the floor is cleaner so but that's not what we're going to do so now how do we now choose the gcam to do between the two of them so now let's go in now and look at the settings so this is where your choice so this is from unix 05 you can see the info here this is from unix 05 version 1.4 the latest one um so we're going to go to the setting and look at the setting now the next thing that helps you to make up your choice is more of the one that have it at least it should have a configuration file it helps a lot so make sure that the gcam you're settling for have configuration file because some people who have t taken their time to set and tweak and tweak you could just get it from them and install for your device so keep that at the back of your mind so the next thing you're going to look at is the advanced setting so when you're making a choice for gcam so this is the advanced setting and um there's nothing much uh, this is just um the three major thing in the advanced setting apart from the other one so this three major thing i think is a bit limiting so let's look at the lead patcher so you can actually turn on the lead patcher and you know let's turn it on and then you know tweak the back camera there's no tweak for the front camera unfortunately um so and nothing no setting for astrophotography so we're going to rush and then look at parrot's own and Parrot 043. So if you come to this now, so for Parrot own also, you have to be able to go to, there's something you have to click on, enable advanced settings. So once you enable the advanced settings, you'll be able to see 
all the advanced options. And then you see there is plenty of them, plenty of them. You can also save the configuration file. So keep that at the back of your mind. It's very, very critical. So um, there is much, 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 much more advanced settings in the Parrot on than that. So, so that's one of the things you're going to look out for, the one that have much more advanced setting if you know how to tweak because you can get the better picture out of it. So you see now, so another thing here is that it has a front camera setting, astrophotography mode tweaking, night side tweaking, and a whole lot of other tweaking. So this is very, very, very important. So I think that has to guide the, your choice. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to load the same configuration in the, both of them. And then let's see by double tapping the side, double tapping this side, we're going to load the same configuration, Realme X2, this with Realme X2, the best night and day settings. We're going to click on restore and it is being restored and then we're going to go to uh, unix i've loaded it in the folder for each of them so you can watch our other video to know how to so i'm going to double tap here and um no 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 that's not the one i wanted to restore so double tap here again and then restore the same for both of them so once we're done we're going to kick off again with um unix so we're going to go back to our night site in the same place, we're going to take the picture again for our night sites. Okay, so this is for Unix, uh, so for Parrots, for this one, the first one. So this one is for Unix. So we're going to try not to shake our hands, and we're going to take the same picture in night sites. And there it goes. Okay, and um, let's see through in the stock one here. The nightscape is still on. And there it goes. Okay. So with that done, let's go look at the results. Okay, so this is the stock nightscape. You can always see the Realme, whatever on it. So this is um the Unix uh zero five. Uh looks good, looks better than the nightscape. Okay, so this is the configuration <laughs> that was tweaked for Parrot 03. So you see, that having much more advanced setting and what you can tweak in advanced setting just gives this guy the clear lead here. I mean, it's like evening and, <laughs> and day. Like, it's like, if it's so you, you, you can see that. So these are the things you're going to really look out if you're going to you know, choose a GCAM. The one that have more advanced settings can be tweaked to get the best picture at every scenario. So keep that at the back of your mind. Always check the advanced settings. So if you get one that has all the advanced settings and you're okay with it, then you can just relax, go ahead and use that one and also follow up on the updates and subscribe to the channel. We'll keep giving you updates on whichever one you've made your choice on. Uh, if you have any other question, drop it in the comment section. Let me know if you want me to compare GCAM 7.2 and 7.3 or 6.2 versus 7.3. Um, we have lots of video in the channel. Subscribe and until I see you next time, be safe. Bye.